Have you ever wondered what truly happened on Epstein's private island? How did Epstein, an ordinary school teacher, swiftly ascend to fame and become a master manipulator of innocent children? Join us as we uncover shocking revelations about Epstein's life that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew. Make sure to watch this video to the end, because on number one, we will reveal a secret that will leave you baffled. So without any further delays, let's jump right into it. Number 10. Early Life In a surprising contrast to his later life of wealth and notoriety, Jeffrey Epstein's early years were rooted in humble beginnings and a modest family background. Born on January 20, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York, Epstein grew up in a middle-class neighborhood, far removed from the circles of influence and power he would eventually enter. His parents, Pauline and Seymour Epstein, held ordinary jobs, his father as a groundskeeper and his mother as a school aide. Despite his modest upbringing, Epstein's academic talents set him apart. He demonstrated exceptional intelligence and secured a scholarship to the prestigious Cooper Union for the Advancement of Science and Art in Manhattan. Number 9. The Mysterious Rise to Wealth Jeffrey Epstein's meteoric rise to immense wealth remains a baffling enigma. After briefly working as a high school math teacher, he ventured into the world of finance, where he would eventually make his mark. Epstein's financial empire began to take shape in the 1980s when he founded J. Epstein & Company, a financial consulting firm catering to wealthy clients. Despite lacking a prestigious educational background, Epstein managed to attract high-profile individuals who entrusted him with their financial affairs. His ability to cultivate relationships with the wealthy and powerful became a cornerstone of his success. By the 1990s, Epstein had amassed an impressive client base, which included billionaire Leslie Wexner, the founder of L Brands. Epstein acted as a personal financial advisor to Wexner and was granted significant influence over his finances. Through this association, Epstein gained access to vast resources, enabling him to expand his own wealth and influence. Epstein's net worth has been the subject of much speculation. While estimates vary, reports suggest that his fortune reached staggering heights, ranging from $500 million to $1 billion. His wealth allowed him to live a life of opulence, complete with luxurious properties, a private jet, and extravagant parties that attracted the global elite. Number 8. Connections to the Elite Epstein's ability to forge connections with the world's wealthiest and most influential individuals was astounding. His social circle included prominent figures from various sectors spanning politics, business, academia, and entertainment. Through his charm and financial prowess, Epstein managed to infiltrate the highest echelons of society. One of Epstein's most notable associations was with former President Bill Clinton. Flight logs indicate that Clinton flew on Epstein's private jet, aptly named the Lolita Express, numerous times. While the nature of their relationship has been the subject of speculation, Clinton has denied any involvement in Epstein's criminal activities. Epstein's ties to Donald Trump, both in business and social circles, have also drawn significant attention. Although they had a falling out in the early 2000s, the extent of their previous interactions remains a topic of interest. Epstein's connections extended beyond American politics as he was acquainted with members of European royalty, such as Prince Andrew of the British royal family. Number 7. The Infamous Private Island Epstein's private island, known as Little Street James or Pedophile Island, was a central hub for his illicit activities. Located in the U.S. Virgin Islands, this secluded paradise became a playground for the wealthy and influential, who were drawn to its exclusivity and secrecy. On the island, Epstein constructed luxurious residences, including a sprawling main house, guest cottages, and even a mysterious underground structure. Reports suggest that the underground complex housed a theater, an exercise room, and secluded areas where he carried out his exploitative acts. Epstein's island also boasted elaborate security measures. High walls, surveillance cameras, and guards protected the perimeter, ensuring that his activities remained concealed from prying eyes. The island's seclusion and sophisticated security systems created an environment where Epstein could operate with impunity. Number 6. The Dark World of Sex Trafficking 
Epstein's most abhorrent secret involved his involvement in the sex trafficking of underage girls. Through his extensive network, Epstein recruited vulnerable young girls, often from disadvantaged backgrounds, and subjected them to sexual exploitation. Reports indicate that Epstein used manipulative tactics, promising his victims money, educational opportunities, and a lavish lifestyle. He exploited their vulnerabilities, groomed them, and coerced them into engaging in sexual acts. This cycle of abuse perpetuated the trauma experienced by these girls, leaving them trapped in a web of fear and silence. Epstein's sexual exploitation extended beyond his personal gratification. Disturbingly, he also facilitated the abuse of these underage girls by influential individuals within his social circle. Through his network, he provided his powerful acquaintances with access to vulnerable victims, effectively acting as a supplier for their depraved desires. Now if you think this was the darkest side of Epstein's life, wait for number one, because the number one secret on our list will leave you astonished. So keep watching. Number 5. Legal Troubles and Controversial Plea Deal Epstein's criminal activities eventually caught up with him, leading to a series of legal battles and a highly controversial plea deal. In 2005, a Palm Beach police investigation exposed Epstein's sexual exploitation of minors, resulting in a grand jury indictment. However, Epstein managed to secure a remarkably lenient agreement. In 2008, Epstein pleaded guilty to state charges of solicitation of prostitution, a charge that downplayed the gravity of his offenses. As part of the plea deal, he received a mere 13-month sentence, during which he was granted extensive work-release privileges. This arrangement, widely criticized as a miscarriage of justice, raised questions about Epstein's connections and the influence they wielded. The fallout from Epstein's plea deal continued for years, with renewed scrutiny and public outrage leading to his arrest on federal sex trafficking charges in 2019. However, before he could face a full trial, Epstein was found dead in his jail cell, under circumstances that sparked intense speculation and conspiracy theories. Number 4. Expanding the Web of Exploitation Jeffrey Epstein's web of exploitation involved a significant number of victims, each ensnared in his disturbing network. Reports suggest that Epstein exploited and coerced dozens, if not hundreds, of underage girls. Some survivors have come forward with chilling accounts of their experiences. One survivor, Virginia Roberts Jufer, has detailed how Epstein coerced her into sexual encounters with influential men, including Prince Andrew of the British royal family. Another survivor, Courtney Wilde, has bravely shared her story and actively advocated for justice for herself and others who fell victim to Epstein's exploitation. Number 3. Connections to the Intelligence Community In addition to Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's longtime associate and alleged co-conspirator, other individuals connected to intelligence agencies have been linked to Epstein. One such person is Adnan Khashoggi, a Saudi Arabian arms dealer with reported ties to various intelligence agencies. Furthermore, Epstein's association with former Israeli Prime Minister Ida Barak has attracted attention. Barak confirmed that he had business dealings with Epstein, including investments in a startup. The exact nature of their relationship and any potential intelligence ties remain subjects of investigation. These connections fuel speculation about whether Epstein may have operated as an intelligence asset, gathering compromising information on influential individuals. However, concrete evidence supporting these theories is yet to be fully substantiated. Number 2. The Vast Scope of Epstein's Properties Epstein's vast wealth allowed him to acquire an impressive array of properties, raising questions about the legality and sources of his wealth. In addition to his private island, Little Street James, and the Herbert N. Strauss House in Manhattan, Epstein owned numerous other luxurious properties. One such property was the Zorro Ranch, located in New Mexico. This sprawling estate spanned approximately 10,000 acres and included a massive mansion. Epstein's ownership of this ranch, reportedly worth millions of dollars, further highlighted the extent of his real estate holdings. Epstein's properties extended beyond the United States. He owned an apartment in Paris, France, and a villa in Palm Beach, Florida. These opulent residences, coupled with his private island, showcased the exorbitant lifestyle Epstein enjoyed. 
The acquisition of these properties and their exorbitant values raise questions about how Epstein accumulated such wealth and whether any illicit activities were involved in their acquisition. Number 1. Jeffrey Epstein's Alleged Misconduct at Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secret is the renowned lingerie brand established in 1982 by Leslie H. Wexner. It quickly became synonymous with feminine allure and sensuality. Victoria's Secret was known for sourcing models through talent agencies, providing aspiring models and actresses with coveted opportunities to showcase their talents. As we have discussed, Leslie H. Wexner and Jeffrey Epstein were working closely those days. In Victoria's Secret, a disturbing incident took place in May 1997 involving model Alicia Arden, exposing the alleged misconduct of Jeffrey Epstein. Arden's encounter with Epstein, who presented himself as a talent scout for Victoria's Secret, took a distressing turn when he reportedly assaulted her during an audition in his Santa Monica hotel room. Arden's introduction to Epstein came through his claim of being a talent scout for Victoria's Secret. Excited about the potential opportunity, Arden agreed to an audition and visited Epstein's Santa Monica hotel room. However, her anticipation turned to horror as Epstein reportedly grabbed her, attempted to undress her, and made disturbing remarks about wanting to manhandle her. Overwhelmed and in tears, Arden managed to escape the room, seeking safety and solace. So now, what are your thoughts on Epstein's secret life? Leave a comment and let us know. Thanks for watching.